Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be talking about pineapple guava. We are in agriculture zone 10 and um, we are in a hot area. So this shrub is an evergreen shrub with pretty purple flowers that are edible. So these flowers, you can actually eat them because they're edible. The fruit itself is a oval shaped green colored fruit that varies from about one to four inches. And when they ripen, they just fall off the tree. So it's October, so this is about the season where they ripen and fall and you can eat them. Can you guess why they're called pineapple guava? Because they taste like pineapple? Yeah, that's probably a good guess, <laughs> so we're gonna give it a taste test. Um, anything else you wanna share about this or? Um, I think you can tell them some tips on how to grow their own pineapple guavas. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I'll give you a couple of tips on, on growing this and our personal challenges with uh, growing this particular guava. I think one of the challenges we have here is that we grow it really among a bunch of uh, palm trees and the palm trees are really dominant here. So we have one palm tree here on, on a hedge and then a bunch of other bushes. So it's really difficult. I think once we feed the guava, we typically feed the palm trees indirectly, and that's our biggest challenge. And it's probably the lowest producer uh, of all, all our guavas. We have another one here for some reason, and this is the lemon guava, and you can definitely tell this one definitely much better, but it's probably about five to six feet away from, from, uh, from the other one. We actually did a video on the lemon guava, so yeah, make did. sure to go check that out, like and subscribe, hit the notification button. So um, they like to be fed. Uh, they definitely like better soil than what I'm giving them. Um, we have uh, quite quite a bit of decomposed granite, so mulching and uh, having some. Uh, Do they like nutrients, being organic a lot? nutrients, water, water regularly, at least deeply, uh, if not regularly, water them deeply. They like. You can see the new growth. They're beautiful, uh, pretty leaves if you look at them. Kind of shiny. Um, and they look good, even if you don't uh, keep them. Uh, they're great for little hedge cover, uh, fences, uh, natural fences. They just look good, and uh, that's the reason we're planting them. We'd love to try out new fruit. This uh, is our part one out of our two-part series. Make sure to go like and subscribe, hit the notification button, eat clean and eat green. Bye!